hey you you should subscribe dollar 99 a month you get access to the after hour show and so much more let's get this party started And now it's time for the next chapter of the Noob Corner with Holy Bookworm! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Noob Corner. I am your host, Holy Bookworm, with a quick little Noob Corner for you today, but one I am super excited to share with you, because today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things in the real world and in Minecraft. And if you don't know it by now, just look at my name and it'll tell you. Because today I'm talking to you about books and bookshelves. I'm so excited. Okay, so a couple things you need to know about books and bookshelves in Minecraft. Books are made, or I should say crafted, by using one leather and three paper. In case you don't know, you get leather from cows. That's where your leather is going to come from. No. Exactly. Paper, though, comes from sugarcane, which is funny because you would think it'd come from a tree, but it doesn't. It comes from sugarcane, which is weird, but it's Minecraft. So, okay, that's how you make paper. Then you're going to may want to make bookshelves because obviously if you have books, you need bookshelves. So the next step, you make bookshelves by using six wood planks of any kind of wood. It needs to be all the same kind, but six planks of wood and three books, which I just told you how to make those. You put those together and bam, you have bookshelves. I bet you're excited. I'm excited for you. Bookshelves rock. Exactly. Pat yourself on the back. That's a good one. You just made bookshelves. Now, you might be wondering, holy bookworm, what is the point of a bookshelf in Minecraft? Well, there's three basic main applications here. One, it just is good for decoration. You can put bookshelves all around your house and it looks really good. You can make yourself a library if you wanted. I may or may not have a giant library at my house. It's also used to create a lectern, which I used when I actually made a church in Minecraft last year, and I made a lectern, and I used bookshelves for that. It's also used to power an enchanting table, and from what I've read, it takes 15 bookshelves to do that. Now, I've never made an enchanting table. I've never enchanted items personally, so I'm learning. I'm not quite past my noobness to answer that, but those are the ways that you can use a bookshelf, and books of Minecraft. Okay, so the highlight of today's show is this moment right here. So I want to tell you about my use of bookshelves in Minecraft, but in the real world. So my name is Holy Bookworm. So I came up with that name because I, my faith, that's where holy comes from, and then bookworm because my favorite thing to do is to read. Literally read, like all the time. I probably read somewhere between 30 and 50 books a year. And they're not little books. They're usually very big books. But in Minecraft, I was super excited when I came to the game of Minecraft. And I learned that I could make a library. When Bearded Sloth and I played, it didn't take long. And we went into a place and they had like a an old abandoned library in a shaft or a place we found, whatever it was. Anyway, we came upon this place and I was just enthralled that it looked like an old library. And I was like, this is epic. If, if you can do this in Minecraft, I might actually play this game because... That's how you get me to, to do stuff, is if there's books involved. That's the way to get Holy Bookworm there. So over the years, as I've played Minecraft, I've created more and more libraries. And I've made them different. I've made them in different ways. You can stack the bookshelves. You can put them in different ways. You can use them as a side table. All different things that you can do. And so what's really, really fun, I really encourage you to take the bookshelves and just try doing different things with them within your house. And it makes it look like a house in Minecraft. I think it gives it more of a realistic feel. That's just my personal opinion. On a side note from that, in the real world, Holy Bookworm has actual bookshelves. And I'm to the point where I'm going to need another bookshelf. I have to talk Bearded Sloth into that of getting me another one. I think this will be bookshelf number nine. Yeah, he always says that our foundation will fall down eventually if I keep buying books. But it's important, and I keep telling them I'm trying to get my own library. Fun fact for you out there, in case y'all didn't know, according to the National Library of Science, in order to make an actual library, you have to have a thousand books. A thousand! That's a lot of books. For the record, in case you're wondering, I only have 647. Yes, I need more books so I can have a literal library. That's my goal in life. 
Okay, now for the pun of the week. I know this is why you guys come back. It's not for my tips. It's not for my stories. It's for the pun. I know it. Never discuss infinity with a mathematician. They can go on about it forever. <laughs> That's a good pun right there. Thank you very much. That, that was really good. All right. Thank you all for listening. Be sure to check out theblockpartymc.com for more Minecraft-related content. All kinds of good stuff over there. Also, head on over to the Noob Corner on Discord and leave me your comments and such. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast. Now go read a book. Thank <laughs> you.